Public Enemy changed everything about black America. Everything. They made Farrakhan popular. They, made the million, they helped make the Million Man March. They put red, black, and green shit around niggas' necks instead of chains. They did everything. They were amazing. I had a post-it note with his phone number on it next to my phone. So anytime I was at the phone, I'd say, Chuck D. Call Chuck D. Chuck, what's he was going too old. on? He said he was too old. He said he had a regular job. He'd already, he'd put out a record as Spectrum City. And LL was hot at the time, and he felt like, now it's a 16-year-old kid. I, I don't want to compete with that. You know, I'm different. I'm from a different time, and I had my time. And he put out records, the Spectrum City record, and it didn't happen. And he just sort of hung it up. DMC played us a song, but it was only like a minute-long version of the song "Public Enemy Number One," and that was his radio show theme. And then eventually, after badgering them, after months, finally, they came in and they said, okay, we're ready to do this, but it's not Chuck D, it's Public Enemy. The hip hop version of The Clash. Here's Professor Griff, here's Flavor Flav, here's Hank, here's the Bomb Squad. We're gonna have the S1Ws. They had the whole thing planned out. And I said, anything you wanna do, it's fine. Any way you wanna do it. Here it is, bam, in your face. Nothing the fuck else sounded like Public Enemy. Nothing. And Rick recognized that. They were like, in a way, closest to the gangster group as much as they were the most conscious group. He was tough and he had reason to be tough and he was rebellious and he had reason to be rebellious, but there were many people upset by certain things that came out of his mouth and, and, and they should have been because they liked what the way shit was. Public Enemy didn't like the way shit was. When Public Enemy's first album came out, on the mix shows, hip hop only shows, they would only play the instrumental versions of Public Enemy records. They would not play the lyrics. They didn't like his voice. They didn't like what he had to the say. It didn't fit, and they didn't like that. They they wanted it to be more. Let's you know, have fun. Let's party. Yeah, we're about rims. You know, more songs about rims. I always looked at it as this is counterculture, and this for me it was like. Uh, a black version of punk rock. It was bringing music back to the street. Don't worry, me, I'm the number one 